بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم daily there are signs in front of us ayah every ayah is a sign but Allah subhanahu wa says who will take ibrat and benefit from these signs in fi dhalik la ayat li uli al albab li uli al nuha li uli al absar for those people that use their mind their intellect they analyze they decide they make a decision and now they work progressively to a objective and a purpose. So we need to be seen daily how many signs are passing in front of us of Akhirat, of Qabr, al Hashar, Judgment Day, Pul Sirat, all of these things, these stages are in front of us. How much preparation am I making? Sign 21, وَخَرِبَتِ الْقُلُوبِ that the hearts will be ruined, hearts will be devastated, hearts will be disintegrated. وَيَكُونُ الْحُكْمُ ضُعْفًا 22 And the commands of Allah subhanahu wa will not be obeyed. Concerning the topics discussed previously in this one year, they all correlated. Like we said, the masajid are the places where the rijal of Allah subhanahu wa are made. The Rijal of Allah, the men of the Ummah, the women of the Ummah, the children of the Ummah, all should be on one plane, on one level, on one figure. And like how the men have their masajid, the women have their masajid in their houses. Obviously now in the current situation, it's an exception, but whatever amal we are doing in the masajid should be done in the masajid of our houses. So the figure of Nubuat and the Amal of Nubuat was Yatlu alayhim ayatihi da'wat wa yuzakihim tazkiya wa yu'allimhum al-kitab wal-hikmah ta'alim The knowledge of deen, tazkiya and inviting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To break this, Batil has to take a person away from the masjid, from the masjid of his home and create another masjid, the masjid of evil. And that's why we are saying that uh, this augmented reality, this virtual world, it's going to take a person to another dimension. Whereas the places where we're supposed to get made, like Maulana Yusuf used to explain, one is Banna ki jaga or Eke Chalna ki jaga. One is the place to get made, and one is the place where you utilize that item where, which has been made. For example, a car is manufactured in a specific place, that's a place of manufacturing. And the road is a place to utilize it. If the manufacturing was not complete, then the chalne ki jaga, when you're driving, it's a hazard for you and everybody else. You can use, lose your life and others also. So it becomes a hazard. So in the place of manufacturing, that car needs to be on the production line. So when it's complete, then we will see the benefits. Now this car becomes a asset, not a liability. So likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent us in this world to be manufactured. Now if we are in this production line of Allah and His Rasul, like Mufti Zainul Abidin Rahmatullah used to explain, like how one hand fits into the other hand, our life should fit onto the life of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So to spoil the hearts, to spoil the masajid, to make sure the awamir of Allah are not alive, at the moment, the technology has been developed where we have stand-alone devices. Uh, in the past, through movies, through books, for example, Harry Potter was to show you magical potions, magical powers to incline the world to Satanism. Then they showed the taking over of the world. Then they showed probably scenes of uh, having higher powers. And these people that are taking over the world their shakal and appearances would be close to Iblis, the Shayateen, the Napak Jinns, etc. If we just look at uh, development after that, now they're moving on to the another next level. And they, they, the name is called the Matrix, or fancy names, Oasis. Just one game, Minecraft, it is eight times the size of planet Earth. So the future, number one, standalone devices. Then number two, mapping of the real world to enable mirror worlds. Like currently that we have now, certain games, certain uh, apps, etc. have it already in place. 
So, but that's bringing the unseen. Deen is yu'minuna bil ghayb. We are seeing the farishtas, so we're worried about that. We are seeing Allah, Jannat and Jahannam, we are worried about Akhirat. Now they bring in the shayateen, the jinn world to us. So they actually marine the world of, 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 of napaki, impurity, shayateen, jinnat, etc. And then the higher level after that will be to take it to uh, creating instruments where they track your eye movements, facial expressions, your brain um, signals to create movement in this virtual world. So when a person's getting into this here now, now he will be completely in that system. And he will be out of the system of Allah and His Rasul. So let's think about it of, of a trap where a hunter, which is shaitan, and we are the hunted. So why is, is the person who has been hunted can hunt the hunter? And a hunter puts traps strategically so that the hunter doesn't know that they're getting caught also and they've been trapped. Like it's a hunter, a fisherman, the bait, the hook, etc. You don't even know that is a trap. Do you think so? It's an oasis. It's Jannat. It's what you've dreamed of. But actually behind that is a trap to catch a person. And when somebody is more experienced and an expert, and Shaitan is the Imam of Doka and deception and traps, he's got thousands and thousands of years of experience. He's got a very, very rich portfolio. So I need to think now, am I being hunted and how much am I part of the hunt? So for example, the internet, how much am I caught in this world wide web? It's webs and these webs have caught me. How much in social media have I been caught into? And then moving on to the next level has been discussed. And the arms are quite clear, quite apparent. We don't even need to get to, into it, but just to run through it. One is picture making. So now, after shirk, ulama explained the most severest adab for the people of Iman in Akhirat is picture making. So firstly, one is, if you are part of this, you encourage in picture making. Secondly, if you are doing this and we create in pictures, then in Akhirat, inna ashadda nasi adab in yawm al qiyamah al musawwirun that the most severest azab is for this year. لِكُلِّ سُورَةٍ صَوْرَهَا نَفْسًا تُعَذِّبُهُ فِي جَهَنَّمْ For every picture that he made, that picture will be given a life and that will be part of the instruments of punishment. وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ ذَهَبَ Who's worse than a person? يَخْلُكُ خَلْكًا كَخَلْكِ He creates creation like how Allah created. Then music. On the day of Qiyamah, molten lead will be poured into his ears. How common has that become? Then modesty. When you don't have modesty, you'll do whatever you want. But that's what shaitan wants us to come unto. Then the satanic figures that have been embedded in these characters, uh, Satanism, the occult video games that are engineered for Satanists, the words of Satanists who say these games enable us to practice our religion. A 13 year old who got into this gaming said after reading the Satanic Bible, there are core values of Satanism in it and it spoke to me personally. So when the Shayateen, the Jinnat, see that a person is connected to all of these because they are satanic the satanic the jinnat now start getting attracted to this person and he starts getting the sifat and the qualities of shaitan so even scientifically they've classified it as a, a disorder it's a disease whether it's an emotional disorder, behavioral disorder, brain performance disorders, whether he's getting AD and D, attention deficit disorder, whether he has uh, interaction problems, etc. But there's been incidents. LA, eight year old boy kills his grandmother. He was 
uh, glued onto Grand Theft Auto. In England, a 14-year-old boy was killed by 18-year-old boy. Why? Because of gaming. In Ukraine, a 14-year-old millionaire's son who had all the tech that need, was needed killed his friend who was 15 years old because of losing a computer game. When they found that boy's body, his head was almost severed from his body and he had 27 stab wounds. So there's uh, thousands and thousands of examples. I should not be part of the statistics. I should not be part of the statistics. And Shaitan is there to trap us. He's going to do whatever effort to see. So now once a person gets into this, now he's not going to do the amal of Nubuat. He's not going to go to the masajid. He's not going to go to the places of manufacturing. And when we're not getting manufactured, we won't get made. But he's actually getting manufactured into the world of the shayateen and the iblis. And he gets trapped onto that system. And now for him to get out of that system is very difficult. And we say technology is needed. There was one person who went for an interview. The HR person said, I'll hire you. No problem. Send me your email address. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with your resume. He said, I don't have an email address. He said, that person who doesn't even address does not exist. You don't have a computer. You don't have an email. You don't exist. That person had uh, $10 in his pocket, depressed. He went, he bought some tomatoes from a fruit uh, vegetable market. He started selling, selling. Eventually, a few years later, he became one of the biggest food retailers in the USA. He called his investment broker, banker, discussed how he should do his investments, retirement, etc. So the person said that you build an empire that is so huge and big uh, and I'm amazed at you. So when he was leaving, he said, give me your email address, I'll send you details. He said, I don't have an email address. So this broker said, if you build such a great empire without an email address, without a computer, I can imagine what you would have become with a computer and email address. He smiled and he said, I would have become an office boy, I would have become a chai wala. So the interview initially was to become a tea boy, a office boy. So sometimes we get caught into the splotting of shaitan so much that we don't even realize that we are caught in the systems. So am I being hunted or am I the hunter? Just ask us ourselves this question here. There was a man walking on the beach, he came across a lantern, he rubbed it, the genie came out, um, gave him some wishes, three wishes. First wish, what do you want? He said, I want my own island in the Caribbean. And uh, spark of lightning, he had his island, title deeds in front of him. Secondly, what do you want? Offshore accounts, globally, billion dollars. Spark of lightning, got a printout of different bank accounts in his name. Third wish, what do you want? I want to become irresistible to women. Spark of lightning, this man changes and becomes a box of chocolates. He becomes into a box of chocolates. So if we don't know how to ask, how to utilize the assets that we have, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us life, Allah has given us health, Allah has given us wealth, Allah has given us afiat. Compared to anybody else, if I compare others, I've got a lot. After having all these bounties and I don't capitalize the bounty and the ni'mat of Iman, being the best of ummats, and I have kept, haven't capitalized. There was a lady walking on the beach, lantern, uh, opened it, Jin, three wishes, what's your first wish? But I have to warn you, for every wish that you ask, the Jin tried to trap this lady, for every wish that you ask, I'm going to give your husband ten times. So lady said, no problem, first wish, I want an island in the Caribbean. Hey, remember your husband will get ten times, spark of lightning, title deeds, you own an island in the Caribbean, but your husband owns ten. She smiled and said, no problem. Secondly, what's your second wish? I want an offshore account globally. Spark of lightning, print out of bank account, you're a billionaire, but remember your husband has 10 billion dollars. What's your third wish? Remember your husband is already 10 times up on your first two wishes. Think properly, she smiled. She said, I wish I have a mild heart attack. I wish I have a mild heart attack. Husband got 10 times that. 
So am I the hunter or I am being hunted? All these asbab, all these signs, we need to ponder now. Am I a sign of Qiyamah or am I a sign of the Fadail which Nabi Alayhi mentioned of my latter part of my Ummah that will get a reward of 50 Sahaba? Why? Because they're not being hunted. They the hunter, the hunters for Allah and His Rasul, the hunters for Akhir. The dua for today is to read La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al mulku wa lahu al hamdu yuhi wa yumit wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Whoever reads this hundred times morning and evening will get the reward of free and ten slaves from the progeny of Ismail alayhi salam. Kutiba lahu mi'atu hasana, hundred rewards. Muhiyat anhu mi'atu sayyiat, hundred sins forgiven. وَكَانَتْ لَهُ حِرْزًا مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ يَوْمَهُ And he is granted protection from shaitan for that day. So to read this hundred times morning and evening. The amal which has been emphasized in Laylatul Qadr the last ten nights is at our doorsteps. We should be avid in Salatul Tahajjud. ثَلَاثَةٌ يُحِبُّهُمُ اللَّهِ There are some people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves excessively. وَيَذْحَكُوا إِلَيْهِمْ And when they're doing these ibadat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala smiles. Means Allah gets happy with them. لَوْ إِمْرَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ Yes, mashallah, his wife on his side. وَفِرَاشٌ لَيِّنْ A very nice, soft, comfortable temple mattress, restonic mattress. فَيَقُومُ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ and he leaves all of this here, his sleep, his mattress, his wife. And he remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is tahajjud in the darkness of the night. Man salla fi laylatin ayah lam yuktab min al ghafilin. If you read a hundred ayah, try to do it before we sleep or in tahajjud. You will not be written among the negligent. And whoever reads two hundred ayat, كُتِبَ مِنَ الْقَانِتِينَ الْمُخْلِسِينَ He'll be written amongst those who have obeyed Allah with sincerity. Nabi Ali Salaam used to stand so much in Salat in the riwayat of Aisha رضي الله عنه عنها حتى تتفطر قدماه That his feet used to become swollen. So I asked the Nabi of Allah لما تسنو هذا وقد غفر لك ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر أو Nabi of Allah all your previous sins, future sins have been forgiven. Means you are a jannati, you guaranteed. Why do you strive so much? He replied, Afala uhibbu an akuna abdan shakura. Should I not be a grateful servant to my Allah? This is the Nabi of Allah excelling and striving when there was no need. What should be our situation? Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.